Hey art friends, Mrs. Talbot here. We're going to make a Pete Mondrian inspired piece of artwork. Here's what you're going to need. White paper, black paper, one sheet of each, uh, something to color with. I've got crayons. Glue, scissors, and a ruler is helpful. All right. So Mondrian used horizontal, side to side, and vertical, up and down, straight black lines. And I want to cut some out of this piece of paper. So I'm going to find a color that I can see on there. Got a nice white crayon. And I'm going to line the ruler up with the edge of my paper. And that's a great way to get some straight lines. If you don't have a ruler, you can always use the side of a piece of paper to mark out your straight lines. Probably not going to use all of these, but I like having extras. Okay, if they're not perfectly straight. All right, you're gonna take your scissors and we're gonna cut on these lines that we drew. Ooh, I got a fun skin, skinny one here. All right. To make these fit better, I want my paper to be a square. So I'm gonna take, this is an old origami trick if you've ever done this. You're gonna take this corner and fold it over to this side of the paper. We'll make a crease. And then we're gonna cut off this rectangle. All right, press it out flat. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna add some straight black lines like Mondrian. Put the glue on your black strip, not on the white paper. That will make sure you don't have glue lines going all over the place. It kind of hides our glue better. You can also use liquid glue if that's all you have. I like stick glue because it's not as messy. If you do not have black paper, you can always draw black lines on your paper. It's okay too, we just have to use what we have. And you can stick them on there any way that you would like to. I think I want that skinny one on there, that one's pretty fun. We got some squares and some rectangles. All right, let's color. You can use crayons for this. I'm gonna use crayons because that's something most people have. Um, you can also use markers, colored pencils, even paint. We're gonna start with Mondrian's favorite colors. The primary colors. Red, 
yellow, and blue. Mondrian also liked to use uh, white and black, and he left a lot of negative space, a lot of white spaces, so we don't have to color all of it if you don't want to. inspired uh, collage slash drawing. Hang it up on your fridge. This one looks great.